Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. My name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer on Sunday, as you usually do on Sunday. And today, guess what? It's time again for another episode of Instagram Cocktails Decoded. The episodes where we find some cocktails on Instagram so you don't have to do it and we bring it to you. And in general, the idea of this uh, kind of a series is to present the cocktail which we like, closest 100% to the original recipe, but some time may happen, a little twist coming from us. And today that's the case, the recipe 95% is the original, but I decide to change one ingredient. However, I'll let you know the original recipe, you can make them both next to each other, it's entirely up to you, and decide which one is better. So, if you're ready for some shakes, steers and sips, my lovely friends, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's see what cocktail I'll be making in today Instagram Cocktails Decoded. Okay, boys and girls, today uh, I'm featuring on the channel a friend of mine, Murray, from Scotland. It's known on Instagram, aka The West Mount. So I'll leave a link in the description as always to check his profile. He's doing wonderful cocktails, beautiful photography, and he's such a nice guy. So last week I did, uh, no last week, actually on Friday, I did for you a new signature cocktail which I created, uh, the Winter Apple. And following this I said, okay, let me find something which it's again with apples to following the same vibe. But this time I found uh, something based on bourbon. And that's what Murray did with his cocktail, which is called a Spiced Apple Pie. It's in front of me here. You can see the picture on the screen. But as I mentioned before, I look in my phone, so there's no any kind of a guessing what we're doing. We search uh, Instagram, then we found the recipe on my phone and I'll make it for you. So, the spice apple pie, it's based on Buffalo Trace bourbon, Calvados, pressed apple juice, cinnamon demerara syrup, lemon juice and one egg white. So, as I mentioned, I changed one of the ingredients. Now, I'm not using Buffalo Trace, I'm using Basil Hayden, so I don't think this is gonna make much difference. So, I'm kind of ignoring that. That's not a change of ingredient, it's just different bourbon. However, uh, instead of the cinnamon demerara sugar syrup, I decide to change it with a stout winter syrup, which I did on Mixology Hacks, my second channel. So if you miss this episode on the stout winter syrup, you probably want to see it because you probably want to make this syrup. So that's the only change I'm doing. However, as I said, I'm gonna put the original recipe and my recipe and if you want to make it with the cinnamon demerara sugar syrup and maybe make the stout winter syrup and see which one you prefer, it's entirely up to you. But now if you're ready, let's make the spiced apple pie by my friend Murray, aka the Westmount. So the cocktail is based on a bourbon and we're gonna start with our bourbon today, 35 ml of the Basil Hayden. The next ingredient is a Calvados. We bring in Calvados back in the game. You know how much I love Calvados, isn't it? So, Murray is saying 15 ml or a half an ounce. There we go, 15 ml of Calvados. Okay. Next ingredient is a pressed apple. Now, if you want to press fresh apple, it's entirely up to you, but with the CDT may became brown and you want to use uh, absorbic acid to don't make it, so it's getting really complicated. Just do yourself a favor, go and buy from the shop a pressed apple, 100% pressed apple juice, okay? But hey, if you're fancy to go over through all these things with apple juice, feel free to do it. Now, we're gonna go with 25 ml. Beautiful. Then we have freshly squeezed lemon juice, another 25 ml. One more ingredient to go. Uh, this is the only ingredient I change. I mention it, but I mention it again. Murray is using uh, cinnamon demerara syrup. I'm using stout winter syrup with a coconut sugar and a star anise. Smells delicious just to change a little bit. So we have only what it says on the recipe, 15 ml. 
So that's the only change I do. Very nice and dark this syrup, it's beautiful. May change a little bit the overlook of the cocktail, uh, but I think it's worked fantastic with the bourbon and with apple, a little bit of stout. It's gonna make a little bit different. Marie, if you watch this video, sorry my friend, I had to change that. Not because I don't like it, just want to give a little different kind of a perspective on the cocktail. Perspect? I don't know. Ignore me. One egg white in the very end. Okay. And we are done. So first of all, we're going to give it a nice, let me just put this away first. We don't need it. Nice dry shake so we can break the egg and fluff a little bit, incorporate with the rest of the ingredients before we put ice and do a wet shake. Okay. Hold your shaker nicely because egg white likes to explode sometimes. Ooh, literally it's like a pushing from inside, wants to get out. And I had quite few accidents in my life with egg white, so I don't want to happen on camera. Okay, now ice. Filled up your small shaker with ice to the top. When you have egg white, make sure it's to the top, okay? Put it inside and give it a good shake with ice now. Beautiful, just beautiful. Let's first strain the cocktail before we garnish it. Here we go. Give it a nice strainer. Oh, look at that beauty. Absolutely fantastic. And of course, yeah. Gonna grab one of these wonderful star anise. Just pop it on the top. Get this back down. And my lovely friends uh, and uh, followers of the series Instagram Cocktails Decoded I'm giving you a little kind of a twist on the spiced apple pie by my friend Murray, aka the Westmount on Instagram. Make sure you check his profile on Instagram and see wonderful, all wonderful recipes he has to offer there. But for now, let's give it a cheer, a quick test. Oh ho ho! Woo. Spiced apple pie. It's just fantastic. Oh, I love that. Marie, you gotta try this with the stout syrup. And you guys as well, if you wanna make the stout winter syrup, make sure you check Mixology Hacks. And find out how to make it at home because it's a winter, it's a festive, it's a beautiful syrup for the season. So why not? Give it a try. For now, don't forget tomorrow, Monday Drum with Master of Mouths, the first episode coming back Monday Drum, but this time with Master of Mouths. A uh, little bit kind of a, huh. I'm not sure I did my best job for it, but it's first, first episode. I was a little bit kind of a under pressure, stressed, excited. But yeah, we're gonna get there. So don't forget to watch it. And of course, I'll see you next Sunday with uh, another just a normal episode. I think we're gonna make some beer cocktails, despite the fact it's Christmas and probably you're gonna expect some hot toddies and milled wine and all this kind of stuff. I think I'm gonna skip that part and just go to some nice beer cocktails. But hey, you never know, I may change my mind. For now, stay safe guys, enjoy your week. And as always, I love you and I leave you. Bye bye.